Except for the Muni, Shakespeare Festival St. Louis has the area's largest, most diverse nightly attendance, an average of about 3,000 per performance. To be successful, the festival has to satisfy the widest possible audience, from beginners to butterfiles. At its best, the festival has made Shakespeare accessible to first-timers without making the shows any less appealing to knowledgeable viewers. The current production of A Midsummer Night's Dream is the Shakespeare Festival at its best. I have a theory about where Shakespeare productions tend to lose their audience. It's in the exposition, the parts where characters are conveying information that is not dramatic in itself, but crucial to understanding future developments. If a dry exposition allows attention to flag, the production has two problems. It has to get attention back, and even if it does, the audience hasn't picked up what it needs to know about past events to make sense of the present. There is no such double whammy in the festival's Midsummer Night Stream. Time and again, I was struck by how arresting the performances are when, say, Rit Reichard as Aegeus asserts why he wants his daughter on pain of death to marry the young man of his choice rather than hers, when one of the Jacob's twins is Puck, tells of the rancor between Oberon and Titania, the king and queen of the fairies, when Nancy Anderson as Titania explains why she is so attached to the changeling boy whose presence so infuriates her husband, or when Timothy Carter as Oberon explains the properties of the flower he wants Puck to use to make Titania fall in love with the first creature she sees. The consistency in the exposition suggests that voice and text coast Suzanne Mills has done her job well. These splendid actors and their colleagues are just as impressive in parts of the play that aren't potentially dry. This production is laugh-out-loud funny. The misdirected hostilities among the four Athenian youths in the forest are extremely clear and riotously entertaining thanks to the efforts of Rachel Christopher, Peter Winfrey, Cassia Thompson, Justin Blanchard, and fight choreographer Paul Denhart. In the Pyramus and Thisbe play presented after the wedding, the well-meaning ineptitude of the Athenian artisans is a hoot thanks to Jay Stalder, Reginald Pierre, Alan Knoll, Jerry Vogel, Michael Propster, and Stephen Pilkington, whose physical comedy as bottom is charming and outlandish at the same time, with or without an ass's head. The fairies attending Titania are portrayed enchantingly by Mike Andrews, Gabriela Diaz, Raina Houston, and Ben Watts, who doubles as Philistrate. Instead of doubling the royal couples, director Rick Dildine shrewdly distinguishes between the human and fairy worlds by casting Paul Cherigino as Theseus and Jacqueline Thompson as Hippolyta, both excellent. I already mentioned that twins were cast as Puck, Austin Glenn Jacobs and Ryan Alexander Jacobs, who just graduated from the Webster Conservatory, this double casting takes advantage of the multiple doors in the scenic design by Scott C. Neal, which suggests the forest with just a few white trees. Dildine's directions makes good use of a smaller second stage in front of the main one, especially in the Pyramus and Thisbe play. The costumes by Dorothy Marshall Inglis leave no doubt about the social positions of the characters. Hippolyta's train has delightful secrets in store for us. John Wiley's lighting and Rusty Wandel's sound enhance the action. There's plenty of atmospheric original music created by Brian Sale, Matt Pace, and Peter Mark Kendall, and performed by accordionist Ashley Laws and members of the cast. Carter and Anderson make astonishingly beautiful music together on the violin. What a treat that is. What a treat the whole production is. Yeah, it is lovely to see. I, w I got a little tired of some of that original music, and it's unfair to make some somebody writing something today compare it with Shakespeare's words when they come up. But uh, on the whole, just a delightful production. Absolutely. Hey, thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe and check us out on Facebook. The link is below.